let's take a look at what is science and what is not science. You hear the term an awful lot called pseudoscience. Now this term means fake science or false science. That's what pseudo stands for. So in these next few slides, I want you to sort of pay attention to some of the terminology of what science actually is compared to what it isn't. So first, let's discuss what science actually is. Now, science is a process by which we try to understand how the natural world works and how it came to be that way. So one of the long-term goals of science is to find consistent and reliable explanations about how the natural world works. Science is also based on the premise that our senses can give us accurate information about the universe. Now, this also extends um, from the use of instruments. So, for example, if we were talking about astronomy, we could use satellites. Um, if we were talking about biology, which is what you're in right now, um, maybe the use of a microscope. So, the extension of our senses through these instruments would also count for this. Science also assumes that we can learn about our natural world by gathering evidence or data. So it's very important for us to actually go out and get this evidence somehow. Now this evidence will lead to scientific ideas which are basically logical conclusions based on facts. So when you come up with all of this evidence, you sort of form your own um, logical conclusion about that. Usually it's going to be based upon those facts. So when you have an opinion, you have to back it up with certain evidence. Now science also follows certain rules. Now you hear an awful lot about the scientific method, which we will be dis discussing soon in class. However, there is no one standard scientific method. It's not really one step-by-step -step process. The scientific method is a variety of different steps and methods so there's not really one true scientific method as you have been taught. So let's take a look at what science isn't. Now, science isn't a process that can solve all kinds of problems and questions. Science does not go out there and say that they can cure the world of everything. The realm of science is really limited to solving problems about the natural world. So in science, you're really not going to be able to solve whether or not ghosts are real, because that's not really part of the natural world. Questions involving opinions, judgments, beliefs, values, and the supernatural world are not appropriate for science. So in the realm of science, we won't be stating opinions and belief and value systems or it's things about the supernatural world. These are things that, av that are not part of the natural world, so we cannot actually go ahead and discuss it. Science is not a process that can ignore the rules. We can't just say gravity doesn't exist, because it does. <laughs> we have to follow gravity, and our bodies just naturally do that. Science is not a process that seeks the truth or facts. Now this is very important because science is not out there to prove things or to um, find the truth of things. We really try to solve problems and base our what we think that the natural how the natural world works and we try to figure it out. It's not always it, it's not always right but we try to figure things out. As new facts come about we kind of change what we think is that going to happen. The goal of science is to come as close as we can to understanding the cause and effect realities of the natural world. Science is never truth or facts, which can mean different things to different people. For example, is the sun yellow or is it orange? Is that a fact that it's yellow or is it a fact that it's orange? These are things, just a quick example, that uh, the color might mean different things. Hot and cold might mean different things. So we can't say that a fact is necessarily scientific. So that's not always the case. 
Now, science is not a process that attempts to prove things. So when I give a hypothesis and I try to perform an experiment based on that hypothesis, I'm not out to prove that hypothesis. I'm out to um, necessarily say state whether it's correct or incorrect. I want to make sure that I uh, that I test it to see if it's going to be survivable in the scientific community. So when properly applied, the process of science actually attempts to disprove ideas. If an idea survives testing, then it is stronger and more likely an accurate explanation. So a lot of the things that we know about in science and the natural world have af actually been discovered by something that went wrong in the scientific method. Science is not a process that produces certainties or absolute facts. So science is a process which can only produce possible to highly probable explanations for natural phenomena. Does gravity exist everywhere? We don't know because we haven't been everywhere. So we can't state that gravity is an absolute fact throughout the universe. We really don't know. Perhaps there's pockets of gravity that doesn't exist in some places. The results are always subject to testing and revision as new information becomes available. And this has happened several times throughout history. Um, when we talk about cells, you'll see that cells were thought to be other things. They thought that they were something called animalcules. Um, we didn't know some of those processes of the early cells. We, don't, we still don't know um, everything that the brain does or what little pieces of genes in your DNA do. So it's very important that things get tested, revised, when new information becomes available. That's the biggest step. Science is not a process that can always be relied upon. Now, unfortunately, there are some scientists out there, or people who claim to be scientists, that do their experiments poorly. So science can be done poorly, it can be misused, and science is not free from bias. So everybody's human, and it's our job, it's our duty as scientists to make sure that our testing and our experiments are free from bias as much as possible. There's been cases where scientists have claimed that they have hu uh, cloned human cells when in fact they really didn't. Um, science can be done poorly. Maybe they do not ask permission when working with animals or working with certain human tissue and that's a problem. So scientists are people, and although they follow certain rules and try to be as object objective as possible, both in their observations and their interpretations, their biases are still there. So sometimes when we do read some of these scientific discoveries, we have to sort of think about whether or not their methods are proper, whether or not their conclusions are true to their, um, their data, and sort of see if at all possible um, they may have made a mistake. And that's what science does. We retest, we retest, and more retesting to see if we can replicate results.